Hello. We are loading America Online on a Mac running Virtual 2. So it's the disk image of the 1989 America Online, and you could hear that floppy scratching as that's disk 2 playing sounds of a floppy as it loads. Okay, so it did take forever to load from a, a five and a quarter disk. And uh, yeah, the it, act, it uses the Mac mouse to emulate an Apple IIe mouse if you had one. Otherwise, you'd have to use your arrow keys. So um, now let's see what we were able to do in America Online. You were able to set these two options. You want single or double spacing in your chat and auto menus. I'm not sure what that was. But let's see, we'll, we'll have Apple III, will that, okay, I'm gonna use the mouse here. Let's take a look at the help screen. Help, my mouse isn't working. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Okay, let's see, ah. Select my username, oh my God. That was me, Eric R1, and some friends. Somebody from 90210, okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so if you actually try to sign on, it's going to try to dial out a modem. That won't work anymore unless somebody puts up an America Online emulator uh, and a phone number we could dial with a modem. Work offline. Look what you were able to do. Open memos, display text files, list your volumes, show your catalog. So this is the catalog of the America Online disk. One system file, a bunch of binary files. And it all fit into 140K at one point. And some finder data. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So you're able to do all those. And then uh, let's see. Go to the sign on menu. And there's an Apple menu there. America Online Work Offline 1.0, 1988. Wow. This is where it all started before the internet became popular. Okay, and set up. Set up phone. What's a phone? Oh, this is when I was in New York. I had to use Telnet or TimeNet. The good old days. Set up modem. Those were the board rates, 300, 1200, or 2400. And I actually started with a 300 baud acoustic coupler, so I would have dialed with pulse. You had to actually turn the dial to and wait for the number for the dial to go back. Okay, if you're using 1200 Hayes compatible, you have 12. <laughs> that was the default 1200 Hayes. Oh boy, and your slots. Okay. So like if you want to you have your printer in another slot. Let's just see what that did. Old Apple II. <laughs> okay. I don't know why the mouse, that's the emulator. Okay, so what I just figured out is on the Virtual 2, I needed to use a relative mouse uh, pointer, a relative mouse movement, so then I can scroll down here because otherwise like uh, my mouse was too low on the Macintosh. Okay, so this is what we had. We could switch between a modem slot, Super Serial, Micro Modem 2E. All right, let's just say we had a modem slot 2 and uh, save slot setting. Let's see what else it has. I wonder if it had a printer slot. No I.O. card. Oh no, I need a modem on my virtual too. Who's working on that? <laughs> Continue. Okay, it's writing to the virtual floppy. Oh boy, I love that little hourglass. Okay, my slot information has been changed. That's not an Azure deployment slot. That's an Apple slot. Okay, well... This brings us back to 1988 and 89. Okay, have fun.